this is expressions in python uh, this uh, 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 video is continued from the previous uh, uh, video uh, operators so uh, we have discussed more about uh, different types of operators in python in the previous uh, video so you can watch it uh, now uh, in this lab you'll get uh, about uh, uh, what are expressions in python and how can you construct expressions uh, expressions are uh, the representations of value in python so they are different uh, uh, from uh, uh, statements statements do something while expressions uh, are the representations of val uh, the value for example any string uh, uh, expression that uh, represents the values of the string as well and uh, integer uh, uh, expression can also uh, represent integer uh, uh, value and uh, floating point uh, expression can also represent the values of floating point so uh, it represents the values of the uh, particular type so uh, statements can do something, but expressions are uh, representative of the uh, values. Python has some advanced construct uh, we, uh, which uh, we can represent values and thus uh, constructs are also called expressions. Expressions in Python can include uh, compatible types, uh, I mean uh, operations uh, with compatible types such as uh, integer type that represents integer value uh, floating uh, type that represents floating value a string also represent uh, a string value as well for example the basic arithmetic operations like uh, adding multiple numbers subtracting division etc let us consider this expression the values this uh, expression represents integer value this expression can uh, include uh, an operation uh, arithmetic operation so uh, uh, this can be constructed using uh, operands and operators the operators are uh, uh, add addition and uh, multiplication the operands are 3, 2, and 5. How can we construct an expression? Uh, we have uh, uh, seen uh, this example so far. So, uh, Python expressions only contain identifiers that identifies or defines the variable name, object, or any uh, uh, class and function in Python literals and operators are important to construct expressions so uh, literals uh, are uh, uh, language independent terms uh, so uh, it is not uh, depend on uh, any uh, programming language but independent uh, terminology uh, so uh, should exist independent in any uh, programming language as well in python there are uh, string literals that represents uh, a string uh, values byte literals in the form of uh, zeros and ones uh, integer uh, literals floating point literals and imaginary number uh, literals we'll see uh, later on operators also another uh, important uh, uh, symbols tokens to construct uh, expressions so uh, uh, in this uh, example uh, we have uh, to be used uh, different operators to perform uh, to construct this expression for instance uh, let's do some examples by uh, constructing uh, an expression and by defining uh, 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 variables that is uh, identifiers that identifies the types of the data we uh, uh, store in uh, uh, computer memory what is the value of uh, x where x is equal to 3 plus 2 uh, uh, times 2 
3 plus 2 is 5 times 2 is uh, uh, 10. But this is a wrong answer. Remember uh, body mass uh, mechanism in mathematics. Also remember, uh, uh, read about uh, operator precedence in any programming language. So uh, first we perform multiplication. Uh, then uh, we can uh, perform uh, addition. So uh, I gave you an assignment to read about uh, operator precedences in the previous uh, video tutorial. So you can read more about operator precedences, which come first, uh, uh, so the priorities of operators. So in this case, we uh, first uh, uh, calculate uh, 2 by uh, 2, 4 plus uh, 3 is 7. So the result will be uh, 7. In this case, so we remember the body mass. Uh, so we first remove the uh, bracket, then multiply the number by 2. Then the result will be 10. So x is, so the expression 3 plus 2 uh, multiply uh, 2 is assigned to the variable uh, x. Then we can print the result of x. That will be uh, 7. Uh, also, uh, y in the bracket 3 plus 2 is 5, then the result will be multiplied by 2, then the result is what's uh, 10. 10. The third uh, expression is a uh, little bit uh, complex, so first we let us calculate uh, using uh, 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 by hand, uh, just uh, calculate the value of x and y are uh, 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 already uh, calculated in the above. So we just uh, uh, use the values of x and y from the previous uh, the above example. So here, x plus y multiply x the power of two minus x modulus 2 integer division 2 multiply bracket 2 multiply x plus 3 multiply y then bracket is off the bracket is enclosed and divided by 2 divided by 2 now we just do first uh, the brackets here with uh, first we uh, uh, assign the values of x and y so the y the x is 7 the y is 10 uh, we just replace it now in, in the third step we remove the brackets first we uh, multiplication and uh, additions are uh, coming uh, in the same precedence we perform multiplication first so 2 multiplies uh, 7 is 14 3 multiply 10 is uh, 30 so we can add the result of the two multiplications here this is the third step in the fourth step we just uh, calculate the result of this by adding is 44 then when multiplications and powers or exponentials are coming in the same precedence we first perform uh, power exponential not multiplication here if if you perform 10 multiply 7 the power of 2 and uh, the result will be uh, wrong but first uh, calculate the power then 7 the power of 2 is 49 multiply 10 7 plus addition is uh, uh, performed uh, in the last uh, uh, precedence now 7 modulus uh, division and modulus are in the same pre uh, precedence we can do one of the two no problem uh, then two, uh, 7 modulus uh, no modulus is comes first so we perform modulus not multi uh, division not division I remember uh, if we perform division first, the result will be uh, different. 
so uh, 7 modulus 2 is 1 so the result is uh, the remainder and 44 uh, floating point division now uh, 7 plus 10 times 49 is 490 minus 1 integer division 2 is uh, 0 multiply by 42, uh, 44 uh, by 2 is in floating point division it will be uh, uh, float uh, the result will be floating point so the result will be 22.0 now finally 7 plus uh, i mean uh, 490 minus we perform uh, uh, multiplication first uh, any number multiplied by 0 is what 0 so finally the result will be 497.0 because the, the result uh, is uh, 0 uh, 0 any uh, uh, this is floating point not integer so the result will be floating point we can check this by uh, this so this is an expression uh, maybe complex uh, little bit complex expression so you can read more about the operator precedence so uh, uh, now we, it is good practice to use meaningful variable names. When you create a variable, you should have to uh, use uh, meaningful variable names. You should define meaningful variables that exactly uh, uh, describes uh, uh, the values we want to store in uh, that variable. So you uh, and others can do uh, read the code and understand it more and uh, more easily so when you define any variable you should have to uh, try to be uh, meaningful because others uh, read your code and understand it very easily let we have three albums we each of the albums uh, album have uh, this minute uh, language respectively so the question is calculate the total length of the albums in uh, minutes so we construct the expression to calculate the total uh, sum of uh, the albums we just add those three uh, lengths in minute so we just define total uh, mean this is um, a variable depth that uh, defines the sum of uh, the uh, uh, length of albums in a minute 43 42 43 plus 42 plus 57 so we can print the result total mean so the result will be 142 what is the total hours of the albums so to calculate this total hours total minutes over uh, divided by 60 because one minute equals to uh, 60 one hour equal one uh, hour equals to 60 minutes so we can divide the total minute to uh, 60 and we can get the total hours so we can print this so the result will be two hours uh, uh, three six six uh, uh, 0.366 so this is what uh, an expression uh, all about so you can do uh, many more expressions uh, boolean expressions uh, arithmetic expressions uh, uh, etc so uh, thanks for watching